Alright, so I don't normally take requests for the non-comic lineups, but I but there, but um, one subscriber by the name of the Spawn 117 suggested, hey, you should do one with the Witchblade. And at first I was like, nah, but then I kind of thought about it more. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do one with the Witchblade. So I'm kind of bending the rules this once to kind of talk about um, not a non-comic, you know, non-comic picks for, you know, who could wield the power of the Witchblade. And there's actually a few. As most of you guys know, the Witchblade is a power so is an, a powerful relic filled with mystical energy that can basically that only attaches itself to women. So there are several characters, honestly, I could see in possession of the Witchblade. One such character is Marceline from Adventure Time. I would have ex I would have gone with um, Bubblegum, but I feel like you know her you know obsession with uh, trying to dispel magic would be more the long the you know I feel like her that and her trying to constantly tinker with the Witchblade and try to find some scientific purpose behind it. The Witchblade would literally go fuck this shit and, <laughs> and go to Marceline. Wit yeah, could you imagine Marceline with the power of the Witchblade? Yeah, I shudder to think what that would be like. Speaking of vampires, Ceres and Integra could easily be great hosts for the Witchblade. It could probably set... Because here's the thing. The Witchblade always seeks out um, female hosts with a lot of strong will and character to them. That's kind of one of... That was, in the early on, that was one of the defining traits for the Witchblade. And I feel like with, with, with um, the Witchblade attaching itself to someone like that, I think it would be... It would very... I think it would, if for Integra, it would, you know, bond itself to her on the grounds of, hey, you're a very strong and capable woman, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna attach myself to you. For Ceres, it would be like, you're pretty fucking powerful. Whoop, here you go. <laughs> so that's kind of the, so that's kind of the thing, is that it, I could see easily both Ceres and, uh, Integra being, from Helsing, being, uh, hosts of the Witchblade. Again, um, going with uh, Phoenix, with the Phoenix Force, what I said about that, Wendy from Gravity Falls would also be another good pick for the Witchblade. Um, again, it does attract itself to strong women, and she's pretty strong in her own way. So, the Witchblade would probably come to her pretty quickly. Also, I can only imagine Dipper would probably have a goddamn heart attack seeing, you know, what, the, what kind of armor the Witchblade gives a woman. If you've read the comics, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he would, yeah, he'd probably drop dead. Like, all the blood would just instantly go, to, you know, go down south. <laughs> yeah. So moving on is Starling from Stormhawk. Starling would, is another great, um, and I think it would go to her. Like, out of all the characters from Stormhawks, it would probably, um, the Witchblade would probably accept Starling because she would find all that kind of strong energy, um, that, you know, that kind of willingness to, you know, to kind of cross that line. So, the Witch, yeah, the Witchblade would definitely go to Starling out of all the other female characters in Stormox. Second would be, well, the other two picks I could see are probably Susie Lou from the Absolute Zeros in the same universe and Piper. Cyclonus, I don't, uh, Cyclonus, she would have to, Cyclonus would have to force the Witchblade to come to her. Um, so that would be the thing is that, you know, Starling would be the most success, you know, she would allow herself to be, uh, and uh, to join with the Witchblade. She would allow herself to join with the Witchblade. Um, anyway, so moving right along to the next one, uh, so moving right along to the next one, it, um, there was another pick I had and I totally lost my... Uh, my train of thought. Um, yeah, Connie would actually be an interesting one. She'd probably be one of the youngest wielders of the Witchblade. I think it would be attracted to Connie's, you know, swordsmanship, as well as her connection to Steven. Hell, there's a possibility even, Stiva you know, Steven and Connie could wield the Witchblade as Stevani. That would be interesting, because here's the thing, it never accepted men. Actually, you no, know, it kind of did, but it killed him in the end, if I remember right in one of the earlier comics. But anyway... I think if they fused into Stevani, maybe they could, you know, they could wield it together. But Connie would be a little young, and I feel like the Witchblade would kind of corrupt her, because that's the thing. All that power does come with a kind of corruption. The Witchblade was made to destroy. <laughs> and Connie's very young, she's very pure, and the Witchblade's ancient and can easily taint... If you're not careful, it could taint you. So, 
that would be the thing, is that you really need to have a strong willpower. Connie's very strong-willed, but I feel like, you know, her, her, you know, she would be kind of a novice compared to the other characters who have kind of wielded this, you know, ni uh, nearly godlike power. So, with the Witchblade, I feel like she would be... I feel like, she, could she do it? Possibly. That's all I'm saying, is that possibly Connie could wield that kind of power. Um, moving right along, chun is another character from Street Fighters. chun Li from Street Fighter, I think she could wield um, the power of the Witchblade. I think, yeah, she has the mental stability, as well as the mental focus, and, you know, the kind of power... And it would, it's very taxing to wear, uh, wear the, uh, taxing on your body to wear the witch blade. So I feel like um, Chun Li would be up to the task and really giving it her all as the uh, the witch blade dr it, <laughs> um, is connected to her. Um, so yeah, I could see that another character easily Liara Tassoni or Samara, both from um, both characters from. Mass Effect, and yeah, they both have a lot of mental focus, they have a lot of energy to give, and I feel like that kind of power mixed with the Witchblade, <laughs> that would be goddamn devastating to any Reaper I could imagine, and the Witchblade has been around, and you could, before anyone argues, but why would the Witchblade attach itself to an, you know, to an alien? To which I respond with, go read the Witchblade Battle of, you know, the Witchblade Gotcha Man crossover, and before anyone asks, Yes, that is real. There actually is a Witchblade Gotcha Man comic book crossover. Although it's called, it's from its original um, renamed Battle of the Planets. But yeah, it's it, let's face it, it's it's got it's a Gotcha Man Witchblade crossover. <laughs> anyway, so what was I saying? Um, other characters I could see wielding this power. Um, Hmm. Lost my train of thought again. Damn it. <laughs> um, the gems, I don't know, because they're not real pe you know, gems are, are just physical, you know, physical manifestations of their gems. So, I don't know if the Witchblade would accept them, but if it was, if it did, it'd probably go to gar either Garnet or Pearl, and maybe even Lapis would be also be, you know, ones that would be hosts to the, you know, it would be hosts to its power. But then again, you know, it maybe it won't accept them because they're not, you know, they're just physical manifestations of those gems. So I don't know if it would be like, well, you're not really real people, so I don't really want to accept you. So that might be the case with those character, you know, with, in terms of those characters. Um, others I could see Katara from uh, from Avatar: The Last Airbender. Katara and Toph. A l basically, almost all the late, all the female characters from um, from the Avatar: The Last Airbender, and you know, Korra and Asami, I could easily see also controlling that kind of the power of the Witchblade as well. So I could easily see all of those, you know, all the girls from both Korra and the Avatar timelines, be, um, all being considered worthy hosts of the Witchblade. Although I think the one who would have the most mental focus. Would have to it would eat well. I think the ones with the most mental focus that could control it are, you know, it would have to be Katara, Asami, Toph, and possibly May. May would probably have enough mental focus to be like, all right, you're, we're stuck together. Wonderful. <laughs> That's kind of how she would be. She would just be like, great, I'm stuck with a, you know a weapon of mass destruction on my arm. And it's a part of my body now. That's even better. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but anyway, so with that being said, um, other characters... I, well, for Asami, I think it would it, maybe it would reject her because, again, she would try to be like, oh, I want to take you apart and see what it's like. And the witch would be like, fuck that. And probably go to Korra. Could you imagine Korra, you know, as powerful as she is already? Could you imagine how upgraded she would be with the Witchblade powers? Yeah, I I feel bad for everybody. <laughs> because that, I don't know, here's the thing. Katara's powerful and she's focused, but if this was, if um, the Witchblade got to her, like, season one and two of the series, then that power would corrupt her mind and drive her nuts. Anyway. So... 
there's so many female characters out there from ranging from anime. Like, I could see Revy control, you know, Revy might have some control over the Witchblade. Bella Laika, definitely. Same with, Roberta. oh god, Roberta with the Witchblade. Oh man, you want to talk about really scary? That's really scary. Anyway, but yeah, there's so many female characters, guys, out there to choose from. So, you guys just comment below, let me know. What characters could you see, what female characters from any medium, video game, cartoon, anime, what characters could you see wielding the power of the Witchblade? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.